Welcome back to another episode of Paint Society. In this episode, we're gonna go over how to chemically strip the paint on your hood. Don't overthink it, it's just paint. Now we already got our hood all taken off of the vehicle and we're gonna go over how to do a chemical stripping from home and how to epoxy primer it using a spray can rattle system. Now going over our hood and looking at it, you can see that the only clear left on the hood is the front side. Now, do we actually need to strip this? Now in the case of this hood, since it is old paint, I do recommend stripping it but if it is completely cracked like we've seen before, you're definitely going to need to. You could possibly get away with just sanding this with 180 grit and putting a nice uh, direct to metal primer on it. But in this case, we really wanna show you how the stripper works at a chemical stripper. So let's get right to it and show you what the process is. Before we get started, here's some basic products you're gonna need to do this project. We have our aircraft paint stripper and some cheap brushes that are, can be throw away at the end. Just a basic scra scraper, you can use a four or six inch plastic, pre-painting prep cleaner, and some rags. Make sure that everything is completely taken off. And then at the end, we're gonna be using our 2K Aero Epoxy Primer. Now before all of that, what we're gonna need to do is scuff up the surface using an 80 grit. I'm gonna show you that right now and tell you the reason why we do it. Now, before we use our chemical stripper, we want to create some different little cracks and crevices so that the paint strip stripper can seep into. This is really going to help. Now, this is 80 grit. You can use uh, maybe 40 grit if you want, if you don't have, but the 80 grit will do just fine. And what we're doing is we're allowing that paint stripper to really get deep into it. And this is really going to help us move along on the process. The chemical strippers are not what they used to be. They remove some of the hazardous chemicals that can cause cancers and now well they don't do as well of a job but they're a lot safer and after it's all scuffed it should look something just like this now my recommendation is to do this in an area that is a little bit shaded but it's also ventilated because if there's direct sun it's going to go ahead and dry up our paint stripper too quick and not allow the paint stripper to do the job it needs to. Now these are hazardous chemicals still, so make sure that you do wear long sleeves and gloves and have a good respirator because you don't wanna get this on any of your skin. It really, really burns and it's not good for you. Right, we're ready for the chemical stripping process and we're gonna pour it out since it is a flat surface. We don't need to use a cup, but if it is a uh, panel that is on the side of the car, you can pour this into a cup. Now, what I'm gonna tell you, Jeremy, is we need to be very, very liberal with this stuff. I mean, we need to allow it to really just sit on there and be very, very, very thick. So don't go too thin on it because the more it has on the surface, the more that it's going to be able to soak into the panel. Remember, if it looks thick like this, that's a good thing. You don't want it to be too thin because it's not working. So I'm interested to see how well it does on this old paint. Let's go ahead and let's give it a good try. So we got it all layered on there really, really well. You can see we completely covered the surface. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using a plastic and what this is gonna do is it's gonna trap the stripper and it's only going to be um, releasing its chemicals down, not the other direction. So we're pretty much allowing the stripper to work much, much better. All right, we can see now that the uh, stripper is contained and we're gonna allow this to really work. Give it time. We're gonna give it about a good 20 minutes to see what it does. We're hoping that it starts to bite into that paint. Let it sit, let it do its thing before you start scraping it. I anticipate we're gonna have to do this a few more times and then we're probably gonna to have to use a little machine sanding to get the rest of it off, but let's, let's find out. I decided to give it 45 minutes because that's what it says on the can and we can take a look and we see that it's not really biting into the surface of the hood at all. So we remove the rest of the plastic and we 
just decided to add a lot more. Maybe I didn't add enough. Maybe this is going to need to layer it on thicker. So we use the rest of the bottle here. And what we're doing is I am going to go ahead and use my spreader instead of the paintbrush. And the spreader is going to help it keep it a little bit more thicker instead of dispersing it too much. So we have here our next layer and we didn't scrape it yet and we'll give this another 45 minutes we really want to play by the rules and give it the time it needs to really eat into that paint uh, so uh, let's see what happens once it's all done we'll cover it back up with the plastic and we'll take another 45 minute break and we'll check her out 45 minutes later, we're going to take a look and we can see it really didn't do anything at all. It's supposed to be wrinkling up and lifting the paint completely. So I received a tip about mixing paint stripper with lacquer thinner. So we came over to Home Depot here and you can see all the paint strippers have non-methylene chloride in it, uh, clearly printed. So we came over here and you cannot find methylene chloride to put it in. We already thought about that. So we got some lacquer thinner and we tried a different paint stripper and we're going to be using these two. So we went back home and we saw that well after an hour it really just didn't do anything i mean we're barely taking up any of this base coat because there's no clear coat so we're feeling pretty bad now the only area I did take it up is in this corner where it appeared to be repainted and had some bondo on it and this is what it's supposed to look on the whole entire hood so we decided to let's get this completely off let's see what happens at this point we'll get all of the old paint stripper off and you can see that it looks like it's taking off a lot but that is just just the paint stripper itself all right and there's just little flakes of paint on the surface and we thought that it would be make it easy work because there's no clear coat to have to go through we're just looking at base and primer and then uh the you know the e-coat underneath so we get all this off and then we'll start back from bare bones where we were you can take a look and that is not metal that is not primer that is just the base coat itself you can see that there was some bondo work in this area and this is the only area that i actually took it off maybe but there was a rattle cam primer there so at this point what we're going to do is we're going to take uh 64 ounces half a gallon of the uh, paint stripper then mix that up with a half capful of lacquer thinner and well we're really feeling good at this point that will have a much better result And we let it sit for a good 45 minutes and let's check out the result it does not look promising um, it actually doesn't look really any different from what we are doing uh, we'll go ahead and scrape and see what we can get off so as we scrape it is similar to what we have it's removing paint but it's not going down to the surface right there's paint removal this is actually where there was a repair or some bondo in there um, and basically what we got here is just ever so slightly a small amount of paint being removed. I think at this point we're done with paint stripper. Paint stripper is not effective. New paint stripper is not effective. Um, it is much easier now to just mechanically strip with 80 grit. So let's get the rest of this off and let's just do this the right way.
So we use two cans of our 2K Aero Epoxy Primer and we are corrosion protected right now. And what's the reason why we do this? Well, you wanna do your body work over a epoxy primer. You don't wanna do it on bare metal all the time because, well, rust can kinda of get under there. And that's what we saw here on the repair was over on the end of the hood here. So where do we go from here? Well, since we're working on this project in pieces, we'll allow this to dry and cure on the actual panel and we'll put it back on the truck. And then later on, we'll come back over it. We'll scuff it down when we're ready to do the final body work. And we'll put a nice coat of 2K urethane surfacer primer on there and we'll block that out and get it ready for paint. Well, that's gonna wrap things up for this video. And I hope you guys learned something about why paint strippers are not too great to use and why mechanical stripping is a lot better and easier. Guys, this is Brian from Paint Society reminding you, don't overthink it. It's just paint. It's just paint. I'll see you guys in the next one.